Hi, it is Crocodac here and now we will be looking at modeling the balls of vibration of a metal bar um, but before we go ahead I would just like to mention um, a little problem that I had with videos or try to record my screen uh, on Linux and the problem was a flickering of the screen and I solved it on my Arch Linux installation by um, falling back to the mode setting driver as recommended by the Arch Linux wiki and uh, to, do, to do so I just removed this XF86 video intel driver that I had installed a bunch of years ago and that took care of the issue so if you are trying to record your screen on Linux and you have a lot of flickering just have a look at your um, distribution documentation to see whether you can get rid of something similar to this package. Uh, I will link uh, this wiki page in the description below. So um, now it's about time to start the modeling of our metal bar. So we'll just run the universal um, binary for FreeCAD, we will be using FreeCAD to create uh, the geometry for our physics problem. So let's fire it up. Okay, so this is the uh, welcome screen, and we can just go ahead and create a new document and we can now go into the part workbench and now we can create a cube which we're gonna select and we will change the height to 100 millimeters so if we uh, hold shift and click the right mouse button we can have a look at it and we can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and the results here really look like um, some kind of metal bar so we can just um, save the project that's gonna be it and I'm gonna create a new folder in my documents and we will be putting everything in there that's not necessary but I like to do that so I'm gonna call this project geometry save and we can actually rename this thing to a metal bar for example that's not needed no. that's pretty neat and we can export and we'll export the wrap so the first the first time we saved we saved the FreeCAD project which is a good thing to do uh, because it is a project we can go back to and keep on editing if we need to do so we can change uh, all the length width and height of our bar if we wish to but to um, go ahead and use a numerical solver we will have to select the object we want to model and then export it to a BRAP file so that the other programs that we will be using to define um, the mesh uh, for our FEM solver uh, can work with this geometry and we will discuss this further when we get there. So for the time being let's just export our metal bar as a prep. And that will conclude this video.